Hey, what's going on guys? So today I have a, a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, you guys, if you follow my channel, you know I don't really tell that many stories. You know, um, I make videos about games, I talk about gaming news, I talk about my opinions on different things, uh, and I try to make some funny videos and th some things along those lines. But today I want to make a video about a story, a thing that happened to me at a time in my life. So I want to tell you about the time that I actually found somebody's credit card. So. I was, I, this was sometime in high school, it was after I started driving, so it must have been, you know, senior year or something of high school, um, and I went to the bank, and I think I went to go deposit money or something, I don't remember why I was there, it was probably to deposit that money, you know, because high schoolers are making all that bank. Anyway, broke high schooler stories aside, I go to the bank, I pull up to the ATM because who goes inside the banks anymore? Nobody actually wants to talk to the people at the, at the you know, the tellers. I'm sorry, you guys are friendly people, but just but we're always on our phones. We'd rather just press buttons on a screen than actually interact with humans. So I go up to the ATM, reason aside, doesn't matter. I pull up to the ATM in my car and I go to put my, you know, my card into the machine, and I see that there's already one there. So I, like, look around. This is midday. This is not no sketchy or anything. I look around. I'm the only person there. Um, there's no there's no people walking. There's no foot traffic. There was, there's, I didn't even see any cars before me, you know, before I pulled up. So what happened, obviously, was somebody, you know, used the ATM. They must have withdrawn money or deposited or something like that, uh, and they left the their card that you know it deposit it, it released their card from the machine and they drove off and totally forgot to come back and get it or something so here I am high schooler obviously you know not very much money not many expenses but not much money so I'm sitting there I'm looking at the card I'm like what do I do like I could just take it out I could leave it here right I could just put it on the little on the little uh, windowsill thing I could just leave it it's not mine you know I don't want anything to do with it I don't want people thinking that I like stole it or anything you know my fingerprints are on the card at this point not that I think anybody would ever go to those lengths I, I find the card and I'm thinking should I just leave it here you know it's not mine it, I have nothing to do with this card I don't recognize the name uh, and I could just leave it here and they'll maybe they'll come back for it or whatever and then I'm thinking you know if somebody found my card in the machine, I really wouldn't want them to leave it there because think about it, you know, I'm I'm a good person. I have integrity, I have honor, I, I am I am a generally good person and, and I came across the card and obviously I'm not gonna steal it because I'm very aware that I would get caught and that's the only thing preventing me from theft. I'm just kidding, I am just kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, the the person's name on the card was a female. I think I don't remember what the name was, but I I remember it being some very like obviously female name. So I'm thinking maybe it's some poor old lady's card. You know, she just she has a poor memory and she just forgot to take her card. And I'm thinking how terrible it would be if I left it here and somebody else who isn't as good of a person uh, comes along and finds the card and decides to spend uh, the last hundred dollars that this old lady might have. So me, you know, being the nice guy, I. I actually take the card and I decide I'm gonna bring it to the police station because you know uh, I figured it, leaving it there leaves the opportunity for someone to steal the card and use it and potentially you know rob somebody it doesn't matter who it is so I figured I'll take matters in my own hands I'm not gonna leave it there I'll bring it to the police and they'll know what to do with it whether or not they somehow con can contact that person I doubt it or they could contact the issuing bank maybe Wells Fargo and say hey we found your customers card or maybe they would just shred it so that way nobody can and, you know uh, use it and then that person would just have to go back to the bank and get a new card so I decide to go all the way uptown you know I'm going from downtown all the way uptown to where the police station is <clears throat> and I pull into where like the visitor side of the parking lot is and I go in and I go up to I guess it's a bulletproof um, you know like glass or whatever and there's a lady there and I'm like hey uh, she asks me what I'm doing it's like I don't think I think I had to wait for a little bit for her to be a Available. Um, so she finally calls me to come up, asks me what I'm doing there, and I like slide the you know the little uh, card uh, underneath the thing, and I'm like, hey, you know, I found this at Wells Fargo, and I figured this would be the right place to bring it because I don't know whose it is. So she's like, okay, that's fine, hang on. So she takes the card. I wait for like 10, 15 minutes, and a police officer comes out of like these 
uh, you know, these, uh, I guess, big steel doors or whatever. I don't actually remember, but it was, he comes through these doors and he, he, he asks me, I'm the only person in this room. There's like a couple of like waiting chairs, but I'm, I'm the only one there because it's midday and I don't know why people would be there anyway, but I come, he comes through the door and uh, he looks like an average guy, you know, maybe mid thirties or something with like, he's all like kind of happy and stuff. And he comes up and he's like, Oh, so you found this card, huh? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know, I figured I'd bring it here. And he's like, so, uh, what did, what did you buy me? Huh? What did, what are you bringing for me? And I'm like, ha, ha, right. Yeah. Theft is funny. So I totally get it, you know, he was trying to make like a joke, like, aha, like you could have totally, you know, stole stuff uh, with this card, you could have made whatever money or steal, but whatever, you could have bought whatever. But I kind of was like, a little bit like, I felt like that was the wrong thing to say, you know, like you're a cop, right? And I'm trying to do the right thing, and you're making you it, like you're not taking it seriously or something. I don't know. So he he's like, oh, you know, what did you what did you buy me or what did you get or whatever with the card before you came here or something? And I'm just like, oh, uh, nothing. Yeah, you know, cause like theft is bad, and you're a cop, but you're you're kind of taking it like it's a joke. And like again, it wasn't that big of a like a situation. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, obviously he was just making a joke, but I just feel like like it was it was like unprofessional it was kind of facetious you know what i'm saying like it, it was this your job is to you know serve the public and be like you know the 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 moral right and always be good and, and all that stuff and he totally was but he was just like making a joke about oh yeah you could have totally stole or bought whatever you wanted with this card did you get me anything or did you get me a coffee on the way here or something like it was just very uh it was weird i was kind of taken aback that he would even like joke about the actual crime that i'm trying to prevent by coming here like what what did he think i was going to be like oh yeah I actually you know i stopped at mcdonald's on the way here uh and i purchased some new pillows for my bed before I stopped over because I just you know I feel like I feel like they owe me one you know for you know because you know you know I'm preventing their card from being stolen so they could repay me in lunch and a couple of pillows for my bed like it was just weird that the first thing he asked me was like a joking accusation of the actual crime that I'm trying to prevent this person from undergoing you know someone could have stole their identity somebody could have you know bought fucking plane tickets to some other country or they could have purchased uh, tickets to go on a cruise or you know uh, they could have bought like a, a fucking ten thousand dollar television or some shit I don't even know dude they could have bought whatever they wanted and you know here he is joking about that actual devastating thing that could have potentially happened to somebody had I not brought the card there so anyway after he makes his stupid little uh, you know joke about me being a criminal <laughs> I tell him like oh no you know I just figured I'd bring it right here because you know I didn't know what to do with it and I figured it would be better you know to be in their hands he hands me a clipboard with some paper on it and I have to sign it I have to you know fill it out who I am my address and I basically just had to tell him like what happened where I found the card and all this stuff uh, and that was pretty much it he sent me on my way I never heard anything back from them I never heard you know I never heard if if the person got their card back or if they got rid of it or what the deal was um, I honestly didn't expect to hear from them because it doesn't really matter all I wanted to do was make sure that the card was in a safe place so somebody couldn't you know steal their money or, or purchase whatever they wanted but I figured I'd just share the story with you guys I thought it was kind of funny that the cop just like completely thought it was a joke and started joking uh, with me about this you know crime that I was trying to prevent this incident that could have actually happened they could have actually you know this the person whose card it was could have actually had somebody steal the card and spend it on really fancy dinners and things along those lines and and I'm like oh I'm gonna prevent that I'm gonna be such a good person and I come into the police station and he's like hey so what'd you buy me man would you spend uh, would you spend uh, the money on from the card or whatever and I'm just like dude really like come on dude come on that's just too soon man too soon <laughs> anyway so that's the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you want me to tell you any more stories comment down below telling me you know ask me what kind of stories you want me to tell you I might have a couple I'm not entirely sure um, but maybe you can jog my memory with some with some funny things that might have happened in my life so again just let me know in the comment section below you can check out all my social media links in the description subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and that's about it guys so make sure you slap a like on the video before you leave and I will talk to you later. I'm New York out. Peace.